planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Time for round two, brother. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Yes, we're back. Season 2, baby! With a whole new world to explore and destroy. Oh, I'm excited. I'm beyond excited. So many things are going to be different. In fact, pretty much everything. Except for the fact we're going to be building the most insane factories ever seen. But of course, gotta start with the basics, right? Hub parts, building our hub, and picking our starting location. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. That's going to be important. Because once again, the world is a very dangerous place since we haven't, you know, killed everything. At least not yet, anyway. Anyway, though, as I'm sure you've noticed, we are starting in the northern forest area. So, uh... Pretty much across the map from where we started in our first playthrough here. Except we are not exactly at our starting position yet. This is a good place to start, but there is a spot I have picked out that is literally perfect. And I think is the best starting location in the world. And pretty much guys, this is it. This will be our starting location and what will eventually be our new base. So we're kind of in the north center of the map here. Over there is where all of the oil is. So like the ocean's just filled with oil all over the place. The desert biome is just over to our west there. And then right up there is the tallest cliff in the game. And you guys want to know why this place is the best starting location? Because all of the nodes around us are pure. So we can constantly upgrade them to go along with our factory. There's a copper node there, three iron nodes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, three, four, four iron nodes actually. Limestone node right over there. The oil, as I mentioned, straight ahead. We have quartz literally in view. And just a little further on is a ton of coal. So everything we could possibly want is right around here. And for the early game, brother, it will do quite nicely. So let's build our hub and get started with this great new adventure. Oh yeah, that's it. I was like waiting for stuff to build. That's all there is! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Oh my goodness, and handcrafting iron stuff again? Oh baby! Ooh, unlocking stuff in the ma'am! Building the space elevator? Oh my goodness. This is gonna be great. But also, far more importantly, Doggo. We need doggos. We need all of the doggos. My friend. My friend. Come to me. Or do I come to you? Over all of my playtime, I've never tamed one of these guys. Are you gonna run away? Come to me, I have a berry! Do I drop the berry? How does this work? Split it up. We'll drop the berry. He comes toward the barrel. He's <laughs> so cute! Look at him prancing around! Do you want Barry now? Oh. Pet him? <gasps> oh my goodness, and you're our pet now. We have a lizard doggo. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, and we're gonna get so many little lizard doggo buddies. Let me tell you, because they can find power shards and we can use them essentially to build a farm for power shards. 
Now, does he fall? Oh my god, he follows the floppy ears and he follows me! Oh my gosh! I am I am beyond excited. This is a oh, this is just so good. Does he follow me everywhere? Wait, is it just because I have the berry? Just like my cat. Second I have a treat or something. Oh no, he just follows everywhere. Oh. I'm gonna have so much fun. This is gonna be the best, guys. This is gonna be the best. Leave a like for our new doggo friend. Alrighty though, I'm gonna get started with the basics here and get the hub all sorted out because we got a lot of new stuff to go over. Okay, so I'm starting on basic smelting and all that kind of starter jazz and here is a proper view of our area. So the desert's over there, there's the quartz, we got all this stuff around, the desert's right over that way. Like it's just along the cliff. But for the first little while here, we're just gonna be sticking in this area. Our main base though, will be elsewhere. But we'll get to that a little bit later. And then aside from the starting area stuff, a big thing around here is going to be how we construct the base. Like I say everything's gonna be different and mainly that has to do with how we make like our production lines and stuff. But we won't be able to get into that until later. However, we are gonna get into modding right now. Because this is gonna be a modded let's play brother! Starting off with this first one just called More Factory which allows us to build all of these really crazy foundations, power plugs that allow you to build power lines through walls. I, I know. Incredible. And even more incredible, windows. We finally have the technology. But yeah, pretty much though, this mod just adds in a bunch more building things that are extremely, extremely handy. Even some rounded corners and stuff like that, so we can make like circular bases and things. But probably most impressive, actually, is, check this out, there are doorways. So yes, we can actually go into different rooms. It's amazing. You go up, you walk through, it closes. There's multiple doorways, in fact, like there's that one, there's this one, the big old doorway. Whoa! And it just looks amazing. Everything's amazing. And we can make the coolest little house for this guy. Also, yeah, I guess he needs a name. I guess I'll think on that a little bit. First off though, let's build him his little home. I really don't want him following me around because <laughs> we're gonna kind of be going to war with the entire planet. And this little guy just needs to stay here or else he might get a little hurt. Here we go and then he just gets a door on the back. And look at that. He has his own little manager office because he's the big boy boss finding us cool things and just being such a cute little doggo. And now can we just leave him in here? Door closes, we walk away. Okay, seems like he's okay there. Don't worry buddy, don't worry, you'll be safe in there. No spooky spiders sneaking in. Okie dokie though, aside from building little office here and the modded stuff, we are going to be moving pretty fast in this let's play. Like we all kind of get it now, right? Like you build the constructor, you build the smelter, da 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 da. So we're just gonna try and burn through a lot of this early stuff. And ideally, get into the space elevator relatively quickly. Oh, and actually, you know what? I completely forgot that power's the thing. So I guess we're gonna want coal power soon? Because there's no way I'm going around like picking up leaves. It's just not happening. But we're moving and grooving so fast, the leaves won't be a problem for long. Upgrade hub, and I think that gets us our rocket ship, right? Congratulations. You better believe it! You have unlocked hub feature, molecular analysis machine, also Ooh, known buddy. as MAM. Building biomass burner, building space elevator, equipment Ooh. object scanner, equipment beacon, additional hand equipment slot. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Oh baby, I have missed seeing this rocket go. This rocket is actually one of my other favorite things. Aside from the space elevator, of course. This thing is just so cool. How it flies and how it lands here. Oh, it's all awesome. Anyway though, you know how I said I didn't want to deal with leaves? Well, guess what? There's a mod for that. Renewable power! So with this mod, we can make wind turbines and we never have to deal with the whole leaves thing again. 
We don't even need to get to coal, just yet anyway. And these things can just save us an absolute insane amount of time. Gathering up logs and picking up leaves and all that nonsense. And the mod's actually pretty balanced. So let's launch our first rocket and get ourselves some renewable power. Oh my gosh, it's actually just been so long. Look, doggo. Look at our majestic machine fly into space. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Okay. So, renewable power. What's going on with that? Well, they're pretty cheap to make, and they can produce 10 to 30 megawatts based on height. So, I guess we can just place one down, like, right here, and see what happens. Sure. Okay, looks a little neato. Neato burrito. Hook it up to this, and check out the configuration. So, <laughs> 10.08 megawatts. Oh yes, we're flying by now. And turbines in area. Okay, so you know how I mentioned that these are pretty balanced? And that's because the more uh, turbines you have in the same area, the less effective they all become. In fact, I think there's a max of four, and then they just stop producing power. I'm not sure how big their area is, but I'm gonna presume it's pretty big. So we can't just like spam 20 leads in a row and have like 200 megawatts of power. No, 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 no. Only a little bit. And they only produce a little bit of power as well. At least unless we went higher. I'm just on the hill here and let's see if there's literally any difference. Okay, so it counts the other one in the area. Duly noted. Now how much power does it generate? 8.38? Oh, wait. I think it would be 10.38, but because there's two in the area, they're both less effective. Let me check that one. Oh, yeah. So they're much less effective if you have them in the same area. So now this one's only at five. Okay. And now I just want to try building one way over there by the limestone. Will it be even weaker? Probably. Or is it in the same zone? Okay, we are way out in the distance now, brother, so this should be another area. I'm just gonna assume, like, it, it, yeah, it really should be. Like, this is pretty dang far, brother. So what do we got? Okay, it's off on its own, and it's making 14.36, not bad, not bad. And just for context, like, one of these starter biomass burners that's powered on, can produce about 20 megawatts. So, they're not as good, but at least I don't have to run around and gather leaves, right? Like, <laughs> like we're gonna be destroying the environment later. In the meantime though, let's scoop you up. And I just wanna get it out of this area. I have a, a copper mine over here. We'll just stick it over by this. Ooh, right on that hill there. Mmm, brother, that's gonna be good. Let's see how much this guy gets. Oh yeah, we can have to connect it to power first. So, uh, boom, bop, 14.8. So this is our best one yet. It, and I guess it's higher than that one. Wow, little differences really matter. Oh, and another copper node, what? Are you pure? Oh my god, <laughs> if this starting place wasn't good enough. Two pure copper nodes, unbelievable dude. Oh my gosh, and look at this. Almost a hundred megawatts of power. You know what? If we just move this on top of the hill behind, I think we will have a hundred megawatts. All right, looking good. Is that a hundred now? You better believe it, brother. So now what's the plan of action, boss? What should we do? We've kind of delayed our power issues for a little bit. And do you think we should get more logistics upgrades? Yeah, that might be a pretty good idea. Yeah, it'd be kind of nice to have some splitters and mergers. Not bad at all, actually. Personal storage, eh. Conveyor walls, mm, could be spicy. Biofuel, um, and what's in tier two? Hard assembly, oh <laughs> no. Modular frames, getting into the spice. Chainsaws, alrighty. No coal, though. I think that might be after we build the space elevator. And how much stuff is the space elevator? Four? Oh, okay. 
We're a little ways off that. Let's just slam through all this tier one and tier two stuff. Okay, and that is everything in tier one and a tier two. Meaning it's space elevator time. And luckily, while I was kind of grinding through the first two tiers, I mean stored a bunch of stuff in order to get all the things that we need. Only thing left really is these guys, iron rods. And it looks like we still have to wait. <laughs> Excellent, perfect, amazing. Oh man, yeah. I've been trying my best here to avoid the mistakes I made in my first playthrough, which was I wasn't storing stuff enough. Like, there is so many things you have to have for unlocking milestones. Like, specifically, lots of concrete and wire. Oh my goodness, things need so much freaking wire, man. It's insane. So I've been trying to do that as much as possible. And then aside from that, I've just been trying to keep things compact as well, because although this start is amazing, we don't really have a lot of space to work with. In fact, we're almost out of space. So, uh, that's a bit of an issue too. Uh, we will be making like an entirely new area, probably deleting most of this stuff as well. So maybe in the near future, we'll just add on a second floor and make another mess. Like, since we have mass dismantle, everything's pretty easy to clean up. And I'm not really worried about organization as we're getting started here. Ooh, and look at who stumbled over! Another little doggo buddy! No, go for the berry. Go for the berry. Go for the berry! Goodness gracious, I'm kind of running out of space here. Buddy, do it. Good! <gasps> no! There we go, drop the berry. Back up a little bit. No, buddy. Buddy, the berry, it's for you. Why do you keep leaving me? Why can't we be friends? I know you want the berry. No, 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 no. Love me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Oh my goodness, this one's greedy. They can take multiple berries. There's another one. There's another one. Look at it. Oh, now you're a happy dog. You better believe it. Oh, come with me. You're coming with me, brother. Let's go to your uh, president's office. Yes, come here. Come here. Oh, they're such good boys. Awesome. And now that we have two, we have better chances to get more power shards. And also, now our beast is twice as cute. Oh, you better believe it. Oh, you even got me coal. Look at you thinking ahead. All right, all right, now we got everything together. Doggos, you will be proud. Space elevator time is a now. And we are gonna be building it right up here on this like little hill that overlooks our starter factory. It just seemed kinda iconic. So, you know, why not? So behold, the greatness of the space elevator. Uh, we will obviously be moving this later on, but for now, behold. Oh man, and this is just like the coolest thing in like any game. Just this freaking thing coming in for landing. It's so surreal, man. Like, we just hooked down to something in space. What up? Just a wild concept, eh? Alrighty. There we go. Space elevator complete. Episode one. Man, we're moving and grooving. And now what do we need? Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Is what I would be saying if we weren't prepared for such things. Uh, pretty much anything that has to do with belts, always I'm gonna be stacking up on. So, wow. Wait, we already had everything we needed in our inventory. 
So now we just need the rotors. My dude, my dude. Let's go. And of course I've been producing tons and tons of screws like everything is prepared for. Give it like three more episodes, guys. We're gonna be on nuclear power. But here we already go. Off to tiers three and four, right off the bat. 50 of those, 75 of those. Seal the deal. Beautiful. And our first shipment for project assembly is a scent. Oh yeah, but. Oh yeah, but. It has been too long. And there we go. Our first shipment was sent. And I'm really, really hoping that coal is in the tier three or four. There it is, perfect. Tier three, that's what we wanted. Because renewable power is all nice, but coal has that spice. And rock and roll, brother. Coal power again. Coal is 125% more efficient than biomass and can be automated. You better believe it's 125% more efficient. Okay, now I'm pretty sure there's coal nearby, right? 375 meters, that's not bad. 600 and okay. 375 is pretty good though. Aha uh ha, -huh. there it is. Look at that pretty, pretty burnt wood. Guarded by one of these little doggo boys. First one, first victim of the let's play. Oh, we shall destroy so many more of you. So many more. Do your damage now. Do all that you can. It shall be dealt back tenfold in the future. And also, is this a pure node? Probably, oh my, there's even a pure coal node here? Dude, this start, this start, it actually has everything. Everything ever. Wow. So what does that mean? 120 coal per minute? Jeez Louise. I don't know how many coal plants that runs, but I'm gonna assume it's a lot. Oh, and also, look at this! There's a plateau right above the coal. That is perfect for like four coal plants. Just right in here. Oh my goodness gracious, what a start. Did I mention this is a good starting location? Because it's pretty good. And let's fire up a couple coal plants, baby. So let's start just with a few. Probably like five. Yeah, five seems pretty reasonable. And we'll do some quick and dirty inefficient load balancing. And now that'll be a cool 250 megawatts worth of power right off the bat. But even better, we're already done with biomass for good. Anyway though guys, that was kind of our main goal today, to get off leaf power. And now we can move on to more ambitious goals. And ambitious they shall be. Oh goodness, remember this landscape. For soon, it shall all be destroyed. Anyway though, I guess the last little thing is, I think I'm gonna call one of our doggos Mio. M-E-O. I don't know, this sounds like a cool name. And then you guys can choose the other dog's name in the comments below. But anyway though, I think that's gonna be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye bye <laughs>